within the program, I and the other researchers, um, the advisors, the team of technicians and technologists also collaborate um, within the Environment, Soils and Land Use program here in Johnstown Castle, but also with the wider programs and the departments within the organisation. In addition, um, we've seen the expansion of the Protected Urea Research Program um, that began here in, in Johnstown Castle. And Anya Murray has been doing some plot work um, that she is going to cover in detail. I decided to become a wild scholar because I come from a dairy farm at home and I have a big interest in dairy farming and being progressive. One of the studies I'm looking at here in Clonakilty is a plot study comparing different fertilizer types on grass production. So the plots are comparing three different fertilizer types. The fertilizer types are can, urea and a urea protected with MBPT. We're looking at both grass growth and quality with plots spread with these three fertilizer types. The plots are then grazed by dairy cows. For the first two years, there has been no difference between grass production between the three fertilizer types at any of the site locations. And also protected urea has followed the same grass growth pattern across the year as can in all the locations as well. There is massive scope for farmers to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and impact on the environment by simply changing their usual bag of can or urea to a urea protected with MBPT.